Welcome to tonight's Celebrate Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion live stream concert event featuring music from two of our very favorite acts from past festivals, the legendary Jim Lauderdale and Acoustic Syndicate, and with a special guest, Graham Sharp from Steep Canyon Rangers. My name is Ella Patrick, also known as Mama Molasses, and you might know me from my show on WBCM Radio Bristol. That is folk, yeah. I'm so, so, so excited to be co-hosting tonight with my friend, Joe Kendrick, Director of Programming and Operations at one of our very favorite stations, one, one of my personal favorite stations, and that's WNCW 88.7 FM, where he also hosts a great show called Southern Songs and Stories. Tonight's show is brought to you by our partners at Hard Rock and Holston Medical Group. Like so many other events this year, Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion was sadly canceled due to the threat of COVID-19. We hope that this weekend's online concerts have helped bring back some of those warm and fuzzy feelings from our very favorite festival and get you excited for next year. Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion is presented by the birthplace of country music, also the parent nonprofit organization of the Birthplace of Country Music Museum and WBCM Radio Bristol, located in historic downtown Bristol, Virginia slash Tennessee, which I like to call Virginia -C. Bristol is home to the most influential country music recordings of all time, the 1927 Bristol Sessions, the mission of the, w of the BCM is to celebrate Bristol's great contributions to country music industry. You can help support that mission right here tonight by donating to the Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion Festival Heroes Campaign. To help kick things off, I would like to welcome to the show Joe Kendrick with WNCW Radio and the Executive Director of the Birthplace of Country Music, Leah Ross. Thank you. Thank you, Ella. All right. You know, we've all been so excited at WNCW to be a part of the No Contact Concert Series. And a lot of the artists that have played on that summer series are going to be featured at Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. And we're doubly excited to have that right out in front of us tonight with Jim Lauderdale and Acoustic Syndicate. Leah Ross, welcome. It's so great to meet you. Well, it's great to be here and be a Having live music, I mean, this is exciting. Everybody can say that you've never done the Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion like this until now. You can't say that, and we're going to be back on our streets next year. Well, I know that it was a hard decision to cancel the in-person festival this year, the event for 2020. Obviously, like everything in the music business has been put off, and, and we're looking forward to next year. But tell us about what's happened since that decision. You know, it, people say, I know that was a hard decision, and it really wasn't a hard decision. It was the only decision that we can make. But the thing that has been special about it is the support that we've gotten from our fans, from our artists, and even our community. There's been an outpouring of what can we do for you and, and how can we help you. So it's been very rewarding to us to know that we had all that support out there. Can you tell us about the Festival Heroes campaign? Yes, you know... Once we canceled the festival, we kept thinking, how can we involve all our loyal fans that have been so important to us over the years? So we came up with this program called the Festival Heroes, and it was a way for our supporters to give back to the festival that meant so much to them. So a lot of them have deferred their tickets. Some of them have donated their tickets back to, because we had, you know, sold quite a bunch of, a lot of tickets before the uh, festival happened so but not only have they done that we've had people that give in cash but our festival hero program is an uh, if you give cash back to us or donate your tickets one of the things that's going to happen is your name is going to be on a plaque inside the birthplace of country music museum forever I mean 
what a way to recognize those that have meant so much to us and got us to where we are today. And then if you give more than $75 and you go to the $250 level, it's another level that gives you some other perks with the museum as a one-time membership or one-year membership into our 1927 society. So we're really, um, we've had over 600 people already be a part of that. So it, there's still time to do that. Just go to our website, Bristol Rhythm, and you'll find all that information. Leah, let's roll that Campaign Heroes video. Thank you. When we think of our heroes in Bristol, we normally think of the legends, the ones who wowed us on stage time and time again. But this year has proven our fans are the real heroes. You are the ones keeping this wonderful tradition alive. And now we need you like never before. Please show your support for Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion and become a festival hero by donating to the 2020 Festival Recovery Fund. With your help, we'll be back bigger and better than ever. All right. We have two incredible sponsors this evening. Leah, can you tell us about them? You know, our title sponsor tonight is Hard Rock, and we're so excited to have them become a partner with uh, the birthplace of country music. We look forward to doing many projects with them in the future because we see their love for music and their love for music is really going to make a great partnership. So we're going to roll a video and tell you a little bit more. Bristol can lead America's comeback with one of their own. A new hard rock means over 2,000 jobs for Bristol. We're not only talking jobs, we're talking good paying jobs. This will put Bristol back on the map all over again. Hard Rock in Bristol? I never thought I'd see the day. We've got to say yes. Over 2,000 jobs for Bristol. We've got this one shot to make it happen. Vote yes for Bristol. We also have another sponsor that's been with our festival for many years, Host and Medical Group. They've been with us not only for financial support for the festival over the years, but they give us a lot of support on the grounds during the festival. They set up a tent through our first aid tent and their doctors work it all weekend. So we're really um, excited that they came on board and helped make this weekend possible. We've got a huge raffle going on this year. Leah, can you tell us about that? You know, tonight we thought we were going to be saying um, you can only have to 11.59 tonight to buy that ticket because we have 5,000 tickets today, but we sold them all out today, so you can't get that. But if you were a ticket purchaser, or even if you want to be part of the fun and see who's winning, we'll be drawing all those uh, a prize winners because we have over $250,000 worth of prizes that we're going to give away. But we'll be drawing those names. You can sec check it out and listen to it at BristolSessionSuperRaffle.com. Oh, that is going to be great. And we've got a lot of treats in store for you tonight. We've got some special announcements coming up and uh, intermission. And we've got, of course, all of the great music for you. And um, But before we start, I wanted to uh, just talk a little bit about uh, Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion in this special format. So Joe, you know, when you're on live, you do make a few mistakes and I've, I've left out a couple of sponsors. So Midwood Entertainment is, uh, is another sponsor of tonight and so is Codex Sound. So I just wanted to make sure I got those in there. So thank you for letting me do that. But let's do talk about the festival a little bit. It's an exciting time for us anytime we talk about the festival because uh, when you think about 40,000 people in our downtown every weekend, and I mean every weekend in September, and we're not gonna have that this year, it's a pretty sad time, but it's exciting to be bringing some amount of that to you tonight. Yeah, we've also got comments that we're gonna be reading back from your questions. Leah, I'll be asking the questions that you're answering or you're asking us on our live stream here at Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion in the intermission. Yeah, I think that's going to be fun. Uh, we have no idea what those are going to be, so I hope I'll have an answer for everyone that comes my way. Go ahead and send us those comments, and, and all your questions about Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion will be answered. And before we get any further, we want to hear from our festival chair. Yes, d definitely. Hi, I'm Angela Costeola, the 2020 and 2021 festival chair for Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. 
On behalf of the festival committee, we are sad that we are not in downtown Bristol this weekend celebrating our 20th anniversary. We work all year to plan Bristol Rhythm, and we have already started planning and working on Rhythm and Roots for 2021. Make plans to join us next September in downtown Bristol. Until then, enjoy the live stream this weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we look forward to seeing you in September of 2021. What a wonderful message from this year and next year's festival chair, Angela. I'm really, really excited to introduce our first musical guest, and that is Jim Lauderdale. Jim Lauderdale is a two-time Grammy-winning Americana icon, a singer-songwriter whose unmistakable rhinestone-encrusted silhouette has been a symbol for creative integrity and a very prolific career for 31 albums over decades of recording. He is an A-list Nashville songwriter whose songs have ruled the country charts while recording an eclectic catalog of albums that run the gambit of American roots music styles. A renaissance man, renaissance, whose artists from Willie Nelson to John Oates have lined up to collaborate, collaborate with. After all, his songs have helped sell millions of albums for artists like George Strait, Patti Loveless, Leanne Walmack, Vince Gill, and many, many more. So please welcome to the stage, Jim Lauderdale.
Well, the hummingbirds are coming back sooner than expected. And those of us on the ground watch them get their nectar. When I see you, it's living proof that love is resurrected. Whoa, the hummingbirds are coming back sooner than expected. Spring is a flowering, watch the new life it brings. You've got a wondrous heart, makes a lot of new life start. Well, the hummingbirds are coming back sooner than expected. And the songs they bring with their wings fills the air with laughter. Well, you took me to a better place since we first connected. back at us all part of nature's plan like when you take my hand well the hummingbirds are coming back sooner than suspected suspended then flying off with what they have collected oh you showed me while we're hovering what i not detected a tune I got to write with a guy named Logan Ledger and we were writing one day and he said I've got this title I don't know if you want to do anything with it or not and he told me what it was and I begged him to let me write it with him so here we go Don't leave me behind 
fine you guys well I'll tell you what we are just over the moon to be here tonight and to be able to be part of this and um, really looking forward to to next year when we can all get together in person and um, tonight we're gonna have a great time and thanks so much for watching and uh, you know, Bristol, every time I'm here, and uh, it's, it's magic. Every time, whether I'm playing at Bristol Rhythm and Roots, which is one of my favorite festivals in the world, of course, and you've got to come check it out if you've never been. It's, it's so unique, and it's just a spectacular festival. And one of my influences got his big break and kind of, they call him the father of country music, Jimmy Rogers. And um, this is a song, if Jimmy Rogers was still with us today and he was getting ready to go and record, I would pitch this song to him that he influenced. It's called Slow as Molasses. I'm blowing my chances of catching up to the deadline. Not in a hurry, a rush or a flurry of footsteps that follow the sign. I could even ride a caterpillar just to try to get there faster. There's no guarantee when I'll arrive. Breaking out the clock until the ticking stops. Oh, I could even ride a caterpillar just to try to get there faster. There's no guarantee when I'll arrive. Races past us when ever there's some place to go. Oh, I could even ride a caterpillar just to try to get there faster. There's no guarantee when I'll arrive. Waiting out the clock until the ticking stops. 
I could even ride a caterpillar just to try to get the best of this. No guarantee when I'll arrive. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That's for Jimmy. All right, here's a song I wrote with my friend Odie Blackman. She's in a honky tonk mood again. Guess I'd better follow. When she goes out there with all her friends, party might go on till tomorrow. She likes it when I tag along. She loves to dance and spin. Tonight there's no way we're staying home. She's in a honky tonk mood again. I love when she's laughing and talking with the crowd. Then feel like we're all alone with no one else around. She likes it when I tag along. She loves to dance and spin. Tonight there's no way we're staying home She's in a honky-tonk mood again Talk mood again. Guess I'd better follow. When she goes out there with all her friends, the party might go on till tomorrow. She likes it when I tag along. She loves to dance and spin. Tonight there's no way we're staying home. She's in a honky tonk mood. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And hey, those honky tonks will open up again someday. In the meantime, we're making our own fun at the house. And uh, I'll tell you what, I want to bring up a friend of mine right now. He's one of the best banjo players in the world. He's with a group called the Steep Canyon Rangers. Let's bring up Graham Sharp. Come on up. Welcome. <laughs> it's good to see you. Right. I haven't seen Graham since I got to do a record, um, and it came out at the end of May this year. It's a bluegrass record called When Carolina Comes Home Again, and uh, the Steep Canyon Rangers are on a couple of songs, and uh, this is a song that Graham and I wrote, oh. and we've never done it before, That's true. but uh, uh, nobody will ever know. It's called It Just Takes One to Wander. It 
takes two to tango It just takes one to wander Early neath the twinkling stars in heaven To be alone as Mother Nature's own If they need some shelter from the thunder It takes two to make a home It just takes one to wander All right, great. Sometimes the tears might make us tougher We all just need to let the pain go If solitude can be a tender lover It won't take two to suffer It just takes one to wander A live world premiere of that song. We got to write some more. Yes, we do. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, go to Kia G for this one, and it's a song I wrote with my friend Odie Blackman, the guy that I wrote "Honky Tonk Mood" uh, with. And that's from a record a few, a few times back, and it's a uh, on that record we do it. It's a bluegrass song, but we do it electric style. When the cars go by fast All the way to the house We would lay in the grass And look up Where 
the cars go by fast Thank you. Tell you what, this is uh, another song that's off of the uh, Bluegrass album, a new one that uh, Graham played on this one. He does a great uh, finger picking part like Earl Scruggs used to do with Flatten Scruggs. And uh, this is a song that I also wrote with Logan Ledger. And um, so let's, let's do it now. And this is something, you know, uh, I don't know. It's just. The song makes me think a lot. Nobody thinks it's ever gonna happen. They always put it off another day. Whatever's gonna happen's gonna happen. Don't you know it's already the way While you're getting ready To leave this earthly plane Have you made your peace Or will you walk around it Are you leaving this world better Than you found it Understand that it's your time to go What can you do behind a leaf for tomorrow When you're gone, how will your garden grow Sharp, everybody. Graham, if I could, I'd give you a hug, but we'll wait. Thank you so much. I'm looking. That's something for me to look forward to. Yeah. Thanks so much, Graham Sharp. Well, here's a song that I wrote with a a fella from over in England. 
named Nick Lowe. And we've got to get him sometime to the Bristol Rhythm and Roots. You know, people from all over the world are wanting to play there. And I know folks from all over the world come to the festival. And uh, so anyway, this is a tune we wrote together when we were on tour a few years ago. Thank you. Hey, how about these guys, huh, that are up here with me? I can't wait to introduce them to you in a little while. It's, I'm looking forward to that, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and you're going to, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that as much as I do. <laughs> hey, this song is a tune I got to write with a great writer and producer named Buddy Cannon. And um, my manager, Jeremy Dillon, who's down in Australia, and uh, he has been down there since before, you know, I, I think he went down there in January and he hasn't been able to come back. So I wanna send this out to him and the folks down there in Australia. I, I went down there and played at a festival Jeremy had and uh, uh, before that, um, he shot a video 
of this song. And uh, I had been over to China and uh, then went to Australia, and I'd learned uh, a form of the Yang style of Tai Chi that I hadn't done before, a family form, and uh, taught by a, a woman named Rose Oliver and uh, her co-teacher Wang Ming Bo, and I also want to send this song out to them, and uh, it's called Listen. Here's a song that I forgot to put on the set list, but I really wanted to do it. And um, hey, uh, by the way, I want to thank Mama Molasses and Leah Ross and uh, Micah Davidson. Micah is books all the folks that are going to, that, that have been there and that are going to be there at the festival. And so thanks for having us tonight. And uh, 
um, and Joe Kendrick. And, you know, some people ask each other, hey, what have you been doing all this time? So I asked Joe Kendrick, and he said, actually, I, I did an album, and I didn't even know he, he played. You know, he, he's a great uh, radio person. He's got a great podcast about Southern music. And so I said, oh, and he gave me a copy of it, and it's called Joe Kendrick Plays Jimi Hendrix claw hammer style i mean you got to hear that it is something i'll tell you what i've never heard anything like it and i don't know how he how he did it but he did and uh i'm i'm glad and uh, well this one is a tune i wrote with a real talented singer songwriter who moved to nashville from lafayette louisiana and her name is sarah dugay so uh we'll throw this here in the set list for you I'll forgive you if you don't I'll still be there if you won't Want to tell me that you feel The same way too You could go on all night long and on and on and on tell me anything you want I'll forgive you if you don't if you feel like jumping in I'm ready let's begin we could give this thing a try if you Give you if you don't. I'll forgive you if you don't want to leave the friend zone and keep everything just the way it is. Are we on the same page? Have we gotten to that stage? Do you feel the haw haw haw? I'll forgive you if you don't. If you feel like jumping in, I'm ready, let's begin. Thing a try if you want because every now and then a woman and a man might think their hearts at home. I'll forgive you if you don't. Do you feel the haw haw haw? I'll forgive you if you don't. I'll forgive you if you don't. Thank you. All right, now over here on guitar, He's came all the way from Scotland yep. to live here in this country. Let's give him a big hand, Mr. Craig Smith. Oh, I hear y'all clapping out at home. That's great. That is great. You, I, I can hear him in here, even, for all the way from home. Over here on guitar, that's Frank Rishi. And on the bass, that's Jay Weaver. Jay's been producing a lot of stuff and these guys have been on my records and uh we've got some upcoming stuff that'll be out that they're on so be looking out 
for that. I don't want to give it all away now. But um, anyway, uh, here is a tune that uh, we had a request for. I felt it coming through the ether uh, from somebody at home wanted to hear this. Uh, and um, this is a tune I wrote as a tribute to two of my favorites, Graham Parsons and George Jones. A king of broken hearts doesn't ask much from his friends And he has quite a few of them They know he will understand It's just the way it goes Broken hearts doesn't know he's a king He's trying to forget other things Like some old chilly saint He's walking through alone He talks to angels and the stars start to spin He thinks of troubles that he's gotten in Calls how his heart got broken and how it's still that way. A king of broken hearts, he is so sad and wise. He can smile while he's crying inside. But we know he'll be brave tonight. Cause he's a king of broken hearts. This is a tune I wrote a few years back, and I got real lucky on this one, and Patty Loveless and George Jones recorded it together. And uh, Josh Turner has got a new recording of it that's coming out on his new record that he did with a group called Runaway Jane, and uh, it's called You Don't Seem to Miss Me. It's a long way off from where I should be going And every time I hate to leave your side Now when I return there's something missing so fast and everything keeps changing 
And if you're changing too And I don't blame you I remember how you used to kiss me But now I'm gone and you don't seem to miss me Take away the things you've given And all the good we've had Alone together There was a time when you could not Resist me fine fellas mighty fine we got time for a couple more and uh there's going to be some announcements and and things like that and uh and one of my favorite bands is coming up acoustic syndicate and i'm really looking forward to hearing with them and we might do a little jamming together later you never know what's going to happen because of bristol Rhythm and Roots. And, uh, hey, that last song, too, I love doing that with my friends Donna the Buffalo. And we've done that before at uh, Bristol Rhythm and Roots. And so I look forward to that again and getting to play with them again sometime, too. And uh, here's a tune that uh, I wrote with my buddy, Buddy Miller. And so we'll send this out to him and lots of love. Hole in my head, hole in my head I need a girl like you, like a hole in my head I need a girl like you, like a hole in my head Let's just say we didn't and don't instead gonna take me girl on a wild goose chase you're gonna take me girl on a wild goose chase you better find somebody 
wanted to take my place You took my imagination And stomped it in the ground Now I can only dream about you Chase the tracks you left around All in my head, all in my head I need a girl like you, like a hole in my head It must have knocked me crazy It must have hit me hard People must think like my shuffle short I'm playing a card A wild goose chase Wild goose chase You're gonna take me Girl on a wild goose chase You're gonna take me Girl on a wild goose chase You better find somebody To take my place Let the games begin Yeah, here I go Let's hear it again for Graham Sharp sitting in on banjo and Craig Smith on guitar, Frank Rishi on guitar, and Jay Weaver on bass. And I am really looking forward to Acoustic Syndicate coming up before you can say super califragilistic exp. Oh, no, wait a minute, that wasn't it. But uh, anyway, <laughs> but thank you all so much for tuning in and. Uh, be careful and be safe, and let's all take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll all get back together. And in the meantime, we love you, and, uh, and thanks again, Leah Ross, so much. Uh, you are the heart and soul of Bristol Rhythm and Roots, and we all love you. All right, well, here's one called Halfway Down.
so much, Jim, for that incredible, amazing, enlightening, mind-blowing performance. If you want to find more music by this living legend, please visit his website at jimlauderdalemusic.com. If you're just joining us, you're watching Celebrate Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion, an online streaming event designed to capture the spirit of this award-winning festival. Be sure and tune in tomorrow, starting at noon, for the Bristol Sessions Super Raffle, where $25,000 in cash and prizes will be given away to some very lucky prize winners. Watch tomorrow at noon, because as we said before, tickets are sold out on bristolsessionssuperraffle.com. Keep it tuned right here. Don't go anywhere because Acoustic Syndicate is coming right up. But first, Joe and Leah have an exciting announcement. They're going to reveal some of the bands that have signed up for Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion in 2021. All right, all right. Thanks, Ella. Yeah, we've got some great things to talk about coming we up did. next year. But it's still 2020, and you are basically celebrating right now, and you are part of the Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion, and we've got a T-shirt. We do. Um, it's, you know, everybody kept calling, what about a T-shirt? Do we have a T-shirt? So we came up with one. We have it on. Here's the back of that T-shirt. You can get it online at uh, bristolrhythm.com, or you can go to the Bristol Birthplace of Country Music Museum and buy it and wear it out of there. Right, so you haven't been going anywhere and getting your usual supply of concert tees for 2020. I can guarantee you, uh, you've got room for this in your collection. Well, you know, we announced this, I think, one day this week, and they've really been going fast online. Well, that's great. All right, so 2020, we're right in the middle of it. But 2021 is coming up, and we've got some surprise announcements tonight. We do. Uh, you know, earlier this summer, we announced some of them. We announced Jason Isbell and the 400 Union. We talked about Tanya Tucker and Blackberry Smoke's going to be returning. So we've got some others we want to reveal right now. You just was able to watch one of the greatest ones that's ever at our festival, Jim Lauderdale. We're always excited when he's on our lineup. We've got the Steel Drivers. We've got Hayes Carl, Illiterate Light. Dave Egger, and Darren and Brooke Aldridge. Now, what, is that a great lineup or what? That's right, but we got more, as they say in the commercial. But wait, there's more. Yeah, there is. <laughs> We're going to run a video right now showcasing some more bands. Oh, well, that is looking great. 
It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a, a fantastic Bristol, Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion in 2021. But, Leah, you know, everybody has been impacted by the pandemic in 2020, and it's not been easy, including for you. But a lot of people have been coming together to help Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion. And so can you tell us a little bit about, about that and about the Festival Heroes campaign? Yes, you know, we started this to get our uh, fans and our supporters to give back to the community to uh, Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion, and we came up with the Festival Hero Program. So, you know, we've asked people to give to that program cash-wise, and we're asking you if you're listening out there tonight and you're able to, to do that, we'd love for you to become a Festival Hero. I, I want to tell you a little story. I was downtown headed to the museum the other day, really to meet uh, some folks from Hard Rock that were in town, and I was walking by this store, and these three people came out and went, Leah, Leah. And they had their mask on. I had my mask on, and I didn't really know who they were. And they said, we wanted to let you know that we're a festival hero. And I get, oh, thank you so very much. I said, we've gotten a lot of those, and we really appreciate that. And they said, well, I don't know if you recognize us or know us, but we're staying at Flo's Hideaway. They rent an area. It's, they say, we come to the festival every year, and we just decided – we're coming down this weekend anyhow, and we're going to shop in your stores and enjoy your town, whether there's music or not. And we see that a lot. So, you know, for them to be a festival hero and they're not even from here. So what we're doing tonight, if you have that opportunity to become a festival hero, go to our website and, and be a part of that. That's a lot of names. How many festival heroes are there? I think right now we, are have, we have a little over 600. That is excellent. All right. Well, let's have some more. Festival Heroes for Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. Tell us about this year's sponsors. Well, you know, we are really excited. Our title sponsor night is Hard Rock. And uh, like I said, I met with them the other day, and it was the first time that they had been able to go through the museum, the Birthplace of Country Music Museum, and they were very impressed with it. They were talking about how great it was and how they couldn't wait to get to Bristol and start doing um, – projects with us and opportunities and I think the thing about them just like us we appreciate all the history of music and so do, do they and I think that they'll be one that really embraces our community and takes us to a new level we also have host a medical group that's a sponsor this year and they've been our sponsor for many years they came on board I called them and I said hey we want to do a virtual weekend do you think you'd be interested in that? And they said, send us the information. It took about two phone calls, and they were on board. So that was very exciting for us. We've got um, Midway, Midwood Entertainment is on board. So we've got a lot of people that helped make this weekend possible, just like they do when we have our festival. One of the things that I think is kind of exciting is Bristol, Tennessee Essential Services, who is a sponsor of ours, we, we got with them, and they have a local TV station like a lot of communities do, and they're showing this show live on their TV station tonight. So that's pretty exciting for us, and especially for all their customers. I've heard that a lot of businesses in downtown Bristol are also banding together to help the event. Can you tell us about that? I, definitely. You know, we got a call from our, one of a company that, or an organization that we work with, believe in Bristol who told us that there was some downtown businesses talking about giving back to Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion and you know just like it hurts us not to have it and not sell the tickets and do all the things that we do it really hurts our downtown businesses but they got together on their own not through anything that we asked them to and there's a lot of those businesses this weekend that are giving 10% of their sales back to our organization and believe in Bristol. So if you're anywhere around downtown Bristol uh, this weekend, we urge you to go in and do a little shopping, eat in the restaurants, or just be a part of downtown over the weekend. I think now we've got a message from some of the artists coming up at Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. <laughs> so so sad that I can't join you guys at Rhythm and Roots this year but it's so important that we keep our community 
our fans, our musicians, and everyone we love safe during this difficult time. The good news is I'm so excited that we'll be back in 2021, and I will be seeing all of you in downtown Bristol for us to rock out. <laughs> Rhythm and Roots 2021 September. So take good care of yourselves. Be safe out there and uh, love each other. It's so important that we stick together. God bless you. Hey everybody, it's Jim Lauderdale. I sure wish we could all be together this weekend, but I'm looking forward to 2021 when we all can. Come on out to the Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion and we'll have a great time. I'm excited to be on the lineup and y'all take good care till then. Thanks. Hey y'all, this is Hayes Carl. I'm disappointed, uh, as I'm sure y'all are, that we're not gonna all get together this weekend uh, in Bristol for the Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion. But silver lining is uh, they're gonna be doing it next year. And uh, hopefully it'll be bigger and better than ever. Uh, they've also asked me to, to come back, which I'm excited about. So looking forward to it. Y'all take care of each other, take care of yourselves so that we can all reconvene in a year from now and do it upright. But until then, take care. Adios. Hey everybody, Jeff Gorman here from Illiterate Light. I really, really wish that me and Jake could be down in Bristol with y'all this weekend playing the Rhythm and Roots reunion. Obviously we can't be there in person, but we've got some exciting news. We'll be in downtown Bristol next September of 21 for next year's festival. We can't wait to see y'all. Stay safe until then. Hey everybody, this is Charlie Starr from Blackberry Smoke. We're obviously super bummed that we can't be there this weekend for the Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion. We will see you next September there, however, and we'll be a year better. We have a whole year to rehearse for you. So it's gonna be damn good. So can't wait to see you there. Take care of yourselves. We'll get through all this together. Hi, Yola here. I'm so gutted not to be joining you this weekend for the Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion. Uh, Bristol, England was going to be coming to Bristol, Tennessee, and that was going to be a whole thing. But I'm happy to announce that I will be back for the 2021 festival. So I can't wait to see you all next September in downtown Bristol. Bye. Hi, Darren and Brooke Aldridge here. We're bummed to not be joining you in person this weekend for the wonderful Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion. We're excited to announce that we'll be back in 2021 for the festival, though. Can't wait to see you next September in downtown, downtown Bristol. Bristol. Hey, everybody. Morgan Wade here. Uh, super sad we're not going to get to play Bristol Rhythm and Roots this year. was really looking forward to that, but I'm super excited to say that we will be back in 2021. So I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> Howdy, friends and neighbors. We're out here in the garage hall, and we're uh, we're sorry we can't be in Bristol. Uh, go ahead, Tammy. Tell them why. Well, the Bristol Rhythm Roots this year has unfortunately been postponed till 2021, but uh, we wanted to let you know that um, the, the festival is the biggest fundraiser for the um, birthplace of country music. The museum, actually. Right. Yes, indeed. So if there's any way you can still contribute to that, keep them going, that would be great. Um, I think we're going to come back next year, we're too. We're on the agenda. But I know it's a long way away, so if you can help uh, help your town out in that museum, that would be just wonderful. And that little, the music we played was uh, Little Darling Pal of Mine, which was a Carter family song, which kind of ties in with Bristol. It sure does. So, so we miss you guys up there, yeah. and I uh, hope to see you as soon as we can possibly get out. Peace out from the Garage Mahal. There you are. Bye. All right, and we're back here at the Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion live event, streamed online 2020. This is the festival for this year, which is exciting. It is exciting. And you're watching us right now, and we're so happy to be here ahead of Acoustic Syndicate. So, Leah, now it's question and answer time. We had a lot of folks chime in on the live stream feed, and I'm okay. going to throw you some questions about... Are they going to be bad questions? No, these are... Oh, you I think, think I'm... Well, you... 
just keep, you know, make sure you're ready, all right? I'm ready. Okay. What do you miss most about not having the festival this year? You know, I think I miss, you know, the crowds, but seeing their smiling faces and everyone having fun. Because, you know, in our, in our name, it's Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. It really has become a reunion for people. You'll see people walking down the street, and they'll see someone they know, and they'll scream, and they'll hug because they haven't seen them for a year. So I think just seeing the people have a good time. So what are some of your uh, – I love this question because it, it, it could go forever. But I'm just going to ask you what are your, some of your memorable performances, your favorites from years past? You know, I, I would say one that sticks out in my mind all the time. We did uh, a couple years ago, Cruz Contreras, if you all know who he is. Um, you, he's with the Black Lilies, or that's his band when he has it. But um, he did, we asked him to put together a tribute to the Carter family. And he brought a bunch of people in. There was Kerry Rodriguez. Um, Daryl Scott was in it. Um, um, so many people were in that singing Carter songs, and, and I think that was one of the most memorable moments we had because it was just a tribute to what we were all about. I know that for you, seeing a festival is very different from a lot of people that are at the festival because you're basically part of the festival and all of the back scenes and everything that's going on, so I, I guess your experience of it is completely unique. You know, it's a lot different if you're working a festival than if you're visiting a festival. That's why I go to other festivals to listen to artists, because being the director or any of our volunteers, any of those, you know, any person working it, you may get to see maybe your favorite artist that's there or something, but you're working and you see very little music during the weekend. But you know what? That's okay. That's not what we're there for. We're there to make sure those people that have bought those tickets are having a good time and they'll come back year after year. Okay, somebody else also asked on the live stream comments section, and I love to ask artists this, you know, what's your road story that you can actually tell me in front of other people? So what is, this is the same thing for you, your funniest moment from festivals past? Oh, okay, I, I have to go back to when we had Taj Mahal there, and we've had some funny moments, but it was getting close to when he was supposed to go on stage. And his manager says, Leah, I thought your sister was going to get Taj Mahal. I said, she's on her way. He's going to be here in plenty of time. Well, it wasn't a few minutes later I get a call from my sister Sally, and she goes, Leah, we can't find Taj Mahal. I said, what do you mean you can't find him? She says, we've knocked on his door. We've called his uh, uh, room, and he's not there. And I said, have you looked around the hotel? Have you walked outside? She went, we have looked everywhere. And I said, well, you've got to go up there and get in his room and see if he's going to sleep or something. Well, they, she said, I tried to do that. They won't do that. I said, let me talk to him. So they go up there. He's not in his room, but his phone's on the bed. No Taj Mahal. So I'm telling the manager this, and I said, do you think he would have gotten on the uh, shuttle bus and ridden down him himself? He went, Leah. He is not able to get on a shuttle bus by himself. I said, okay. So I call my sister back. They still can't find him. Me and the manager get in the car to go up there to see if we can find him. We get on the road, and we get a phone call, and they say, we found Taj Mahal. <laughs> and I said, well, where'd you find him? Well, he rode the shuttle bus to the festival on his own. And he was riding around in a golf cart trying to figure out where he was supposed to be. <laughs> Good one. And the, and we had Taj play successfully. So yes. that's it, oh, oh, it was awesome. A happy was ending awesome. to the story. All right, we've got one more question from the feed tonight. What do you consider a festival hero? You know, our festival hero, of course, we've talked about those that give, but our festival heroes are the ones that come every year, not only to our festival and buy that ticket, but to all the volunteers, our committee, our festival committee that works so hard to put everything together to make our event what it has become. So, you know, it's those, one, it's those people that's on the back line making everything enjoyable for our visitors. All right, well, it's been great to talk with you tonight. We're not gone quite yet because we've got one more show, and we're going to say some goodbyes after that. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited about Acoustic Syndicate coming up next, so uh, it's going to be another great show, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's give it back to you, Ella. 
Welcome back to tonight's Bristol Rhythm Live event featuring music from two of our very favorite acts of the festival, the legendary Jim Lauderdale and Acoustic Syndicate. We have already had one absolutely incredible performance by Jim Lauderdale, and he will join us again at the end of the show. Right now, we're going to introduce Acoustic Syndicate. Since 1994, Acoustic Syndicate has inspired a generation of musicians with their unique blend of bluegrass instrumentation, rock sensibilities, and conscious songwriting. Through seven albums, thousands of performances, and tens of thousands of miles, Acoustic Syndicate has long been heralded as one of the important influences on modern roots music revival. They are also one of our favorite bands to see here at Bristol Rhythm and Roots. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. Um, and thank you so much to all the amazing members of this community that have continued to give. You know, I moved to Bristol not too long ago, a couple years ago, and the community here has really inspired me to understand what it means to come together as a community. And as COVID-19 has really caused all of music to totally lock down <laughs> in a way none of us could have ever seen coming at all. I'm incredibly inspired by all of our festival heroes. And tonight, we are really here to thank you all for being our heroes in our community. And it absolutely blows my mind as a musician, the amount of outreach and outpouring of positivity that we've been given towards this festival. Me as a musician, I have experienced so much of an outpouring and we appreciate it so, so much. Um, and that being said, I can't wait until next year when we have Bristol Rhythm and Roots 2021 back live in Bristol, Virginia and Tennessee. Here is Acoustic Syndicate.
business discussing and dream about things that we still love to do. With shiny new money to buy all these things. Shiny new money to buy you the ring. I didn't think that might turn out to be my day. I just don't care. Howdy, folks. I think that's one of the my very uh, favorite songs that my cousin Steve ever wrote over there. It's called Been There Again. We hadn't played it in an extremely long time. Such a beautiful song, though.
My wardrobe has seen better days Aesthetically challenged in so many ways But it takes money to keep up these days The bad news is I think I'm stuck this way Folks, what's happening? Did y'all know that Jim Lauderdale was here earlier? I'm glad to see him back out on the road now. He was a uh, guitar tech for Rascal Flats for a number of years, and I'm glad to see he worked himself out of that. Welcome back, old friend, old 
actually thought we were we were playing the extended jam version of that song. We can. <laughs> we're gonna play you a brand new acoustic syndicate song. And you as in like just like now I'm gonna say something for a minute. <laughs> so um, we just signed a uh, recording contract tonight to make a new record a new acoustic syndicate record after quite some time we've got some songs that we've actually never been able to get together to rehearse and and uh, and make them into songs, but we set up here on this stage at Soundcheck, and so we're going to play you a mighty pretty song that Steve wrote. And it's going to be on this new record. So, you know, it, it's the shape of a song, so I'm sure it will, will, will continue to grow, but uh, it's awfully pretty in its, uh, in its nude form, the naked song, if you will. If you would hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm running out of really descriptive. <laughs> Where's Jim Lauderdale when you need him? <laughs> anyway, so Jim Lauderdale is one of my heroes, uh, and I'm very honored and kind of a little bit flabbergasted to be playing with him. And I'll say, as his cousin and his brother-in-law, this is probably one of the prettiest songs this guy's ever written, for real. Uh, the pressure's on. There she is, my old friend. She comes back to me each spring to be with me. The time reveals my age, but she always looks the very same to me. The years that come and go, and the hard times they show on my face. She shines like the moon, spreads her love around this place. Unlocked and fall away. Without a word, she comforts me. 
always knowing what to say. In the fall, she lets me know by her weary smile it's time for her to go. She returns to her mother so that she can mend her body and her soul. She bows her head as if to say a prayer and then slowly fades away. Whispers, I love you. You know I'll come back to you someday. I send that one out to my wife, Jerry Ann. She's watching. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> she actually put the title on that one. It's tore up. I can't play now. <laughs> What's that? I guess it's just back to the old other songs we used to play. Sending out some love to Toots.
King for a day, at least it started out that way, but it would not remain. There was love for life and love for the one, but she went away. It occurs to me, you now at long last I see what I should have done. Might be a good man, it won't turn out like. So many days since I felt this way. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. I'd like to see something good happen for me. But I can't complain. Cause if you'll come to me.
What can we do about it? Should we do anything at all? We could ride on the cool. We could ride on the I wrote that song when me and my son Yancey would ride on a tandem bicycle through Upper Cleveland County. Yes, and now he's a sophomore at Appalachian. It's amazing how it goes by. So I'll send that out to my boy Yancey. Yeah, right on, man. Pick some bluegrass oriented, oriented style of. Oh, bluegrass. 
bluegrass number written by uh, a guy named Neil Young. Cowboy Junkies. Look out, Mama, there's a white boat coming up the river.
She lived in Fort Lauderdale Sent me a sailor suit to the U.S. Mail She set me free fought with pirates. There were no match for me and my crew. They couldn't handle all of these brave men dressed so well in their sailor suit. Why can't I be like I was back then? So How y'all doing? There's like six people in here. It is much easier to individually thank each and every one of you when there's only six. There's a whole lot of people to thank. Codex Sound, <laughs> Bristol Rhythm and Roots Festival, all the people that make live music happen every single day and everybody that's, that's involved with making it happen, the behind the scenes folks that we were talking with uh, you know, just earlier that nobody realizes what it takes to put on live music. And, they, and I, I think most of the time folks kind of take it for granted but there's a lot of people's livelihoods at stake, and there's a lot of money at stake to make all this happen, to make musicians like us and every band get up here and just play songs. There's a, there's a whole lot of other stuff <laughs> going on to make this happen. So without them, it, it couldn't even happen. So maybe uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel sometime that we can uh, get back to doing what we love to do and make everybody's livelihoods a little bit better. 
So thank y'all. Thank y'all very much for making us uh, have the opportunity to come up here and play music. We got the easy job. Twenty years of traveling was wearing out my shoes. Twenty years of good times, but I still get the blues. The journey never slows, and the conversation flows like wine. Oh, I keep looking for the day that I can leave these blues behind. All these years I've known you Seems like we just met yesterday The good times and the bad times You hung with me all the way Comforts me to know That there's someone listening to the songs I sing Oh, sometimes I just wish there was someone to sing for me. Guitars and pretty girls and fishing with my friends down at the sea. These are the things that I love, and this song's for me. that make me smile I like to think would bring a smile to most any man and these hard times make it hard to find a peaceful life that we all understand that's why I have to need to plant the seeds and watch the misery jump for the sun under big things with my own
good music. They're playing out there like a Jerry did. One more life. 
so much. That's Mr. Jay Sanders on the bass over there. Mr. Brian McMurray on the banjo. Mr. Fitz McMurray on the drums. My name is Steve McMurray. God bless you. Thank you, Codex Sound. Thank you, Rhythm and Roots in Bristol. We love you. We're Acoustic Syndicate. Thank you. Yes. Acoustic Syndicate for that wonderful performance. Very special thanks to our show sponsors, Hard Rock and Holston Medical Group. The Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion 20th Anniversary is now scheduled for September 10th through 12th in 2021. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> if you want to come and visit the birthplace of Country Music Museum in Bristol, Virginia, you can. They are open right now. They have their doors open, and they're taking every precaution possible to make sure that your experience there is safe and pleasurable. So check it out if you get a chance to come up to Bristol. Uh, go to the museum. It's a really incredible space. Um, I feel like I've been so lucky to be a part of the museum and experience being a part of the birthplace of country music. You're going to have to let me use your microphone. Mine's dead, I guess. Uh, so, Ella, you know what? We're excited that you're a part of our museum with your radio station. I mean, you know, our radio station, your program. But let me tell you something. You know, I had this T-shirt on tonight. It is still available at our museum store. So if you're in the area and you want to stop by there and you don't have to go through the museum, but we would love for you to go through the museum. You can buy it there, so be sure and check that out. And don't forget, tomorrow at noon, we'll start giving away those $250,000 worth of prizes for our raffle that's already sold out. It's already sold out, folks. The raffle is sold out, but be sure to go online and check out the Bristol raffle. What is that website again? It's bristolsessionsuperraffle.com. Or if you go to one of our websites, Birthplace or Country Music, it'll get you there. That's awesome. That's really cool. Leah, I know that you have been a part of Bristol Rhythm and Roots since the beginning. Is that since the beginning? You know, yes, 21 years ago. I started because they, they did a call out for volunteers, and they called and asked me if I would do the logistics for it. And I said, sure. And... My, that's how I got to be with Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. It was always my dream job to be involved with a festival or something like that because it really thrilled my soul. And in, after their fifth year, they hired me as executive director, and I've been there ever since. And to see how it's grown and how our community's embraced it and how our downtown has grown, and it's been a big part of it. It's a, it's a huge thing, and from someone who moved to Bristol, really because of the music, um, it shows you how much of an impact it has on the local community there. And it's absolutely amazing that this festival has been going on for 20 years. It is, isn't it? You know, you think about it, we welcome over 40,000 people into our downtown, and that first year we might have had 7,500 people there. Wow. I know. Wow. So it just started as a small festival. Um, tell me a little bit, uh, one more story about your favorite show that you've experienced. You know, I talked about the Carter family sh show that we did, but we had John Oates there one year, and, and he was a part of that family. But he was back another year with his band, and the thing that he said Leah, I'm telling you, this is my favorite festival I've ever been to. Now, he may say that to everyone, but wow. we're going to take that. I mean, that is a huge compliment, and I feel that way about Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. It's my very favorite festival I've ever attended. I've never seen a community come together in the same way that Bristol does for music. So, Ella, you know what I think about? We hear from our fans all the time. They come to Bristol not knowing a lot of the artists that's going there, going to be there, but they go away you know, following someone, and I think that's probably happened to you as Mama Molasses. 
Really? Yes, of course. Hey, that's exciting to hear. Um, and we are going to have another performance here, the encore of this very special live stream. And hopefully you found some artists tonight that you are inspired by and want to continue to follow. So without further ado, here's the encore with Acoustic Syndicate. Who never held back Once I had another Who wanted all I had It took a few years To remember them well To leave my tears Right where they fell Maybe in the next life Maybe I'll get it right Maybe in the next life Maybe give me one Still got karma to burn life I must have been a real saint hey lucky me born with money in the bank to my future self I'm sorry in advance but I'm feeling too good now to worry about a second chance maybe in the next life maybe I'll get it right maybe in the next life Baby, give me one more try, and I'll wait my turn. I still got karma to burn. It's too late to call sober When you were out in the woods And did you hear me fall over Falling on your quiet place Wrecking the scene Turning all your time away Into some strange dream Maybe in the next life Maybe I'll get it right Maybe in the next life Baby, give me one more try Maybe in the next life Maybe I'll get it right Maybe in the next life Baby, give me one more try And I'll wait my turn If it's not too late to learn I still got karma to burn
Shark from the Steep Canyon Rangers, you guys.
Now I hear the reason Why I shouldn't stay for me It's not like it used to be You know what happened once before It seems that I can't get the message But those the hints are loud and clear It's still not like it used to be I guess I'm not one of you But it was good while it lasted No regrets, nothing I just got lost in some minute work all of a sudden. <laughs> I love you're, that band. You're the Colin Hay of the banjo <laughs> and the sting of the banjo. You got both. <laughs> it's such a thrill to be playing with these guys. It's just a real honor, fellas. It really. Dig it, dig it. Dang. <laughs> Thank you for my first live music experience in a long time. It's good to sit out there and listen to you, fellas. playing music with Graham and Steve Candy Rangers for a long time. I just realized how long it is. It's been a minute. We've been <laughs> listening. We've been <laughs> listening to y'all for even longer. You didn't know it. We were out there listening to y'all for a long time. They were li listening to us back in like the 50s. <laughs> the bars are all closed. It's four in the morning. Must shut up. By the way that I feel Lay down on a horn My head falls on the horn The whole neighborhood knows Big Daddy's home drunk again I know better than to cuss in my mama's house So more than not I just shut my mouth And she hadn't lived here in a year or more I still stand a little straighter when I walk in the door There's a fresh coat of paint on the kitchen wall How it looked before I scarce recall Somewhere beneath there's a pencil line It shows how tall I stood the day I turned nine I can't unsee what I've been shown My body's been and my mind is blown And I never was ready for the things I've known I can find the house but I can't get home First tour in 94 I was 
following the dead I didn't fight no war And everywhere I went all the locals stared And it felt good feeling like a stranger there I can't unsee what I've been shown My body's been and my mind is blown And I never was ready for the things I've known I can find the house but I can't get home Dogwoods blooming like they always did And the roof still leaks on the garden shed And the sign in the yard says it's all been sold But I gave it away a long time ago I can't unsee what I've been shown My body's been and my mind is blown Thank you, Mr. Graham Sharp. <laughs> Stick around, man. Hey, Mr. Jim Lauderdale. Yeah, baby. So I'm glad to see that Jim worked his way off of the uh, tech squad of the uh, Rascal Flats tour. Uh, that was good, dude. You guys sound great. Uh, let's play this one. This is a song I got to write with Robert Hunter. So I want to send this out to his memory and to his family and fans and loved ones. Mm -hmm. Can I say this out to everybody that's listening to us? The world doesn't realize how many places and how many songs um, how many folks this guy has recorded with and performed with or influenced, or influenced. It's, it, it's it's an absolute honor for us uh, to be standing up here playing with but this guy. hey the honor is mine the honor is all mine this is great and y'all sound wonderful tonight as usual so this song if you want to sing at home the chorus goes headed for the hills Headed for the hills, I can hear them calling. Headed 
all the hills Well, I forded the river I paid all my bills Came a gift to the giver I'm headed for the hills I pay all my borrows Likewise all my dues I'll be gone tomorrow Nothing here I can use
Feel tears welling up, calling deep inside like my heart's gonna be free. The stab of loneliness, sharp and painful, I may never say. You might say I was taking it hard when you wrote me off with a call. Don't you wait till I might hide my sorrow when I'm at Rick right down and ball. Well, the race is on, and here comes pride up the back stretch. Heartaches are going to the inside My tears are holding back They're trying not to fall My heart's out of the running True love scratch for another's sake The race is on and it looks like a heartache And the winner loses all Suspect on what the final results would be. I lived in fear, waking up each morning, finding that you're gone from me. Well, there's aching pain in my heart for the day, so one I hated to face. Somebody new came up to win her. I wound up in second place. Well, the race is on, and here comes right up the back stretch. Heartaches going to the inside. My tears are holding back to try not to fall. My heart sounded the running to love scratch for another's sake. The race is on and it looks like a heartache and a winner loses all. Something. We 
love y'all at home, and uh, thanks again so much for having us here, and we're, we're looking forward to being all together. And uh, like I said, take good care of yourselves. In the meantime, be really careful. And look out for each other. And so we'll, we'll leave you with this song that uh, is one of the greatest songs in music history. And the Carter family put it together. And so sing along with us. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw that hearse come rolling for to carry my sweet mother away. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home awaiting in the sky. What an incredible performance! Thank you all. Uh, there and Mr. Jim Lauderdale, Graham Sharp on the banjo, Mr. Jay Sanders, Brian McMurray, Fitz McMurray, 
Good Steve McMurray. Thank you. Woo! Lucas wow. Acoustic Syndicate. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much to our incredible performers for putting on such a wonderful show and encore. That was absolutely fantastic. And thank you also to our amazing audience, all of y'all tuned in from home. You are the real heroes. Thank you for your support. And thank you to Joe Kendrick from WNCW for being a part of tonight's show. It was really wonderful to have you here. And also, everyone, be sure to join us tomorrow at noon for the Bristol Sessions Super Raffle Drawing. You can go to bristolsessionssuperraffle.com. Ella, Joe? thanks so much. It's great to be here. Thanks for us at WNCW to be a part of Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion in 2020 in such a special way. It's been a great night. Leah, it's great to meet you, Ella. It's such a pleasure to be here. Um, thank you for everybody that's in the, the Heroes campaign. We can't say enough to thank you. I tell you, it's, it's amazing. You know, it, it really is. And to see the outpouring of love that we've gotten through this campaign and the people that have donated, it's really been humbling and inspiring to us in such a difficult time right now. We want to, before we leave tonight, we definitely want to thank our sponsors once again. Hard Rock, what a great job they're doing. Host of Medical Group, Midwood Entertainment, Codex, Codex Sound Company, and American Video Productions. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this great show tonight. So we really uh, have a big shout out to those who did that. But like Alice said, you, we want you to join us tomorrow at noon for the Bristol Session Super Raffle as we award $250,000 worth of prizes wow. to all of these people who have bought tickets. It was, you know, it, it's another testament to the people that supported us by getting that, you know, the Sessions Raffle sold out. Um, Bristol Rhythm and Roots 20th anniversary is going to happen in September of next year, September the 10th through the 12th, 2021. It's going to be a great show. A lot of our artists that we had booked this year will be back. We announced some of those today. So, um, we, I mean, what can we say? Great night tonight. We had a great night last night with Amethyst Kia, Morgan Wade, and uh, Martha Spencer. I mean, what a way to kick off this weekend. And then the night before, we had Farm and Fun Time with 49 Winchester and the Poe Ramblin' Boys. It's really incredible. It's been an honor to be a part of this program. I'm just blown away to even be here and get to see live music because that hasn't been happening. So thank you so much for putting this program together. It's really amazing. You know, when you think about the people that are in the music industry, put on festival or have venues where they do music, it, it has thrilled my soul this weekend to just be a part of some live music because it's something that your system craves once you get used to it, don't you think? Oh yeah, it's <laughs> very addictive. It, it feeds your soul. It feeds you on a, on a different level. And I think Rhythm and Roots as a festival is a testament to that um, and the community support and outpouring, huge outpouring of support that it's had shows how much it really does mean to people. You know, you've met Ella tonight, If you, a lot of you out there that don't know her, but uh, you've seen some great artists, but we have a great artist in our, in our um, midst among us, Ella. She mm -hmm. is better known as Mama Molasses when she performs. So if you haven't heard of her, go to Facebook, go to her webpage, and really check her out and start following her. I think that you will wow. enjoy her music, her uh, writing, etc. So I think... Um, it's another one that we have brought to you that you're going to find out that you love, too. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. And she didn't um, ask me to say that's the truth. All righty. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for your amazing kind words. It is wonderful to be a part of the music community in Bristol. And I'm seeing more and more musicians coming. Uh, more people are interested in just what this festival represents, which is the roots of country music. You're correct. And you know once it. again, thank you for everyone that was out there watching us tonight and supporting us because you're the reason we're here tonight. Right on, right on.